Good morning YouTube, welcome back to the Blades to Be Shop and another project video, another welding video this morning. I've got a customer coming here in a moment with a dump trailer, have a hinge broken out on the back door of that, so we're gonna do a little bit of a welding repair. I've seen a couple of pictures where it's broken out, had a chance to uh, hit up some folks on Hobby Machinist and on Reddit on the welding forum there to get some ideas on how to take and get this repair done. I think the plan is we're going to use some angle iron, notch that out a little bit, and try to get some additional surface area where we weld that angle iron on and then weld the hinge and the bracket back onto that so that uh, hopefully it doesn't just crack out again, similar to what we're going to see when we get there. So I've seen a couple of pictures of it, haven't seen the, uh, the whole trailer, haven't seen the whole uh, exactly what we're doing yet, but we should get a chance to look at that here in just a couple of minutes. So as always, appreciate you watching. If you like the channels, if you like the videos on machining, welding, everything else going on here in the Blades to Be Shop, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to get videos out for you every week, typically on Saturday mornings by seven o'clock. And uh, again, you like those, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell. You'll know exactly when we get the next video out for you. Until then, hey, let's get this camera turned around, wait for the customer to get here, and let's jump into this welding project. All right, so here's a better look at our project here on the back of this trailer. So we can see this top hinge is all broken out there, just like what we saw in the pictures. So I finally figured out what that pin is for. That pin is just for when the door opens all the way, that pin drops in and holds it around the backside. So that pin goes up there on that ledge and that's just to hold it in place. So that's what that is about. So I talked to the customer and we can get away with some cosmetic changes. So the plan is gonna take this piece of angle iron, notch it out around that we're going to push that back into place and then we're going to hold weld a piece of angle iron all around here to get some additional surface area on there and then give a little bit more surface to weld our hinge back onto so i'm going to get this piece of angle iron notch this all around a little bit get that to where it's going to fit in there should give us lots of surface area to weld to and give a lot more strength on that than what we had before. He's already welded the top one over there and had it repaired once and it's looking like it's cracking out again. So I think getting some extra material in there will help considerably. So let's go ahead and get a wire brush on and let's start cleaning off some paint and get that all cleaned out. And we'll get our chunk of angle iron all cut in shape. We'll start welding this back into place. All right, let's go see how that fits. Make sure our lines line up. I think that's gonna work. All right, let's go notch that out. Okay, let's go see how that fits on there. Just 
just gotta knock a little bit more off of these welds, old welds, and then that'll get in there, and then we'll get that shoved back into place. Okay, that is nicely in there. A little bit of a bump out there. Let me flatten that off a little more so it'll fit tight in there. Yeah, I think that looks good. Fits in there nice and tight around there that way. It's sitting up there flush. A lot of good surface area to weld to. So it kind of slipped down a little bit there, but yeah, we'll get that up in place. Let's push our bracket back in and let's get this thing all welded up together. I think that is going to turn out all right. Okay, so I got it blocked up over there. The door not moving. Move that pretty much right into place. Put a clamp on there and just make sure that's in there where I want it. Right, I think that is looking good. Let's get that tacked in place. Make sure the door swings and moves nicely. And then we'll get it solidly welded in place. Get this cleaned up. We got it in good position. The door is functioning. It's got clearance going up over the lip over here. It's not dragging. Let's get that cleaned up a little bit. We'll get our finish filling in those holes and we'll get our piece of angle in place. All right, so we got all the holes filled in above and below. Got that secured on there. Get our bracket around. I just need to put just a little spot out where it runs into that other weld right there. Just gonna clean that up just a little bit and this will drop into place and we will get that all welded in around.
All right, well, it's actually looking not bad in there. Not quite so hot up there on the top, but those vertical welds down in there. And the vertical weld all up that inside edge. Looking pretty good. So let me clean up a little bit there on that top side, touch up a little bit of that, and then we'll get around that hinge. Okay, it's coming along. Let's get the top and bottom of done. We're about there. Well, I would say that turned out all right. Haven't done vertical welding in a while, so probably a little out of practice there, but I'm not embarrassed to let those welds go out into the world, so we will call that good. There we go from a little different angle here. Full walk around here. <clears throat> so yeah, I think that turned out all right. Even back in there, it's a little bit tight on that angle down on that one. But I think that should hold up better than when it came in. Well, there we go, another project on its way out the door. Customer should be here soon. Let's do a little cleanup. All right, well, I almost forgot we can't end the video without seeing that the door swings and moves. So, there we go. Swings, moves. It doesn't drag, it goes in there and latches. Nice. 
Feels like it's a good spot. Success. All right, now we can do some cleanup. And done. Done and done. Well, YouTube, there's a wrap on another project here in the Blades to Be shop. Another quick welding project. Thanks again to the folks on the Hobby Machinist and uh, some input from folks out there on Reddit for how to make this a good secure weld. I think the angle iron worked great, made for a nice secure weld on that, and I am pretty sure that that hinge we just fixed is going to outlast the rest of the trailer around it. Great input. Turned out all right. As always, appreciate you watching. If you like the channel, you like the videos on welding, machining, everything else we've got going on here in the Blades to Be shop, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and you'll know when we're going to get the next video out. I'm trying to get them out every Saturday morning. Last Saturday, we had the video on sharpening brazed carbide tool bits. Seem to get a lot of input on that one, so the video for next Saturday morning, we're gonna make a one and a quarter inch boring bar that holds brazed carbide tool bits. So a one and a quarter inch boring bar gets a little bit pricey. I think I could make one for about $20 worth of steel and hold those brazed carbide tooling, and it should last me forever for when I need to bore out some of those larger diameter holes. So that's gonna be the project for next week. Until then, I hope you're out in your own shop making some chips of your own, working on some projects of your own. Keep your tools sharp. Keep your mind sharper. Until next week, take care.